Okay, so how can you turn on the sleep mode on the iPad? Let's explain that because you probably have noticed that inside of the health app, there isn't really much about the sleep. Unlike on the iPhone, you have the schedule where you can set it up. On the iPad, it's just not there and there isn't really much what you can do about it. Similarly, you also cannot find the sleep mode within the focus modes, right? It's just not there. But what can you do? Well, if you want to set up a sleep mode where you are not disturbed by anything, what you can do is to set up a different custom do not disturb mode. It doesn't necessarily have to be titled sleep mode, but it will get the job done pretty much. So you can either start or tweak the do not disturb mode and set up a schedule. So you can also just schedule it during the night. Therefore, it will repeat just like a night mode would do. Or you can also just return to the back or to the main focus page, tap on the plus icon and select a custom, right? So you can just name it however you want, choose icons, whatever, and then literally set up everything from scratch. So essentially using this, you will have the control over which apps are allowed to deliver the notifications and which apps uh, are like always going to be allowed the same for people and which can and cannot contact you during that period. And as I mentioned, scheduling is going to give it much more power. So that's kind of how it works. That's the sleep mode, how I like to use it on an iPad. Outside of that, if by any chance you meant the display going to sleep, well, that's part of the display and brightness settings. So if you head over in there, there is a feature called auto lock which you get to decide in here how long it will take until the iPad just goes to sleep without touching the screen. So the maximum is never, then you have 15 minutes, 10, 5, and 2. So pick whichever you want, and that is, in a sense, also how we can turn on the sleep mode on the iPad. But essentially, that's it, and that's everything I wanted to show you. Hit the thumbs up if you liked this video and found it useful. For more tutorials, subscribe, and therefore you will never miss anything important in the future. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you later.